Hey guys! So, today we're going to answer the question, is it okay to just focus on the back end basically? So let's get into it. Now this was a great subscriber question, but we need to have a little bit of a context on this one for you to understand the response that I gave. You see, the person in question was talking about Node.js development and asking whether or not they could, you know, because the, he, the, this person felt that he wasn't all that interested in front-end development and responsive designs and stuff like that. He's, it, the focus for this person was back-end development, API development, that sort of thing, in Node specifically. Now, the reply I gave was very simply that, of course, you can only focus on the back-end, just as just focusing on the front end is a feasible strategy. I would even go as far as to say that it's probably a much more feasible strategy for you, at least for job security purposes, to focus on the back end because there's quite a few more back end developers than there are front end developers. And the demand for back end developers is like it's, uh, it's very high. It's actually, I would even go as far as to say that it's probably more common that somebody who calls themselves a developer refers to themselves as a back-end developer, a server-side developer, than you have people who do front-end development. It doesn't, I'm not saying one or, one or the other about this, but it's just, it's just a, an observation I've made. But when it comes to Node.js development, it's a little bit of a special case because we have this association situation there. And what I mean by association situation is that certain technologies have what I, have a culture around them. And that's something that some people underestimate quite a bit. And especially, the, you will hear people, I'm, I've said this a few times as well, who will claim that, hey, you can use Python for absolutely everything. And I go, yes, you can, but it's not used in the real world for everything. So why are you telling a bunch of juniors that they can when that's going to make them believe that they should? The same thing goes for most things, that there are plenty of culture situations around it, just as, for the most part, people who specialize in PHP and JavaScript very rarely learn how to use enterprise patterns like domain-driven design and stuff of that nature, which is much more common in Java and C Sharp and so forth and so forth, because there is a culture and that it has, uh, the language itself and the platforms have been branded or nuanced by the way that the most amount of people use these in what like the context of these uh, of the usage if you will and node ha is no exception to this now node is there's nothing in any like technically there's nothing that has to do that forces you to use node for for anything besides server-side. If you just want to use it for server, that's for server-side development, that's fine. There's quite a few companies to do that. But you should also know that most of front-end, like basically all the tools that are related to modern day front-end development is associated with Node. And most companies who use JavaScript to this extent, has, they have been affected by this to a point. I'm, as I'm saying, I, I'm just raising my finger. I'm not saying that you can't be a, like a complete server-side developer when it comes to Node.js, but you should know that Node is very closely associated. Even though it is technically server-side technology, it is still very closely tied into tools and the, the front-end environment. And that's... Uh, I, I'll leave you to make what you want of that, but a, a great contrast example is if you say went with C Sharp or Java, the odds are very likely, it's actually more likely that you have no expectations on you to know React or, or Angular or whatever front end stuff you want to talk about. But in Node, that that coupling is a little bit tighter. It's uh, it's closely associated. I mean, there's tons of situations where I've been interviewed for a front-end position and they simply expect me to know no Node.js no, no as well. And I don't really have a say in that. I, uh, this is what I've been telling a lot of people out there in many different ways when we talk about front-end and so forth. Like you have no say in what you, what you define as front-end. You can define it any way you want. The company has their own definition for what front-end is. And from somebody like my, my perspective, 
who just kind of loves it all. It doesn't really matter because I've tried to learn all the things, but I can tell you from experience that Node.js is very tight, tightly coupled between, and not by any type of logical reason. It's a culture thing. And just as JavaScript is tightly coupled to certain things and Java is tightly coupled to certain things and so forth and so forth and so forth. So the, the thing I told this person was basically that there's nothing stopping you from being pure server side when it comes to Node, but you will probably have a, an easier time to stay that and to be that and to, to focus in that manner if you use something, if you learn a language that is more culture associated with that sort of work, which is in my, the most obvious ones are C Sharp and Java. It's, there's quite a lot of people in the, those two languages who have, who do web work, but have never, like, don't really do front-end work. It's just, an, it's, just a, it's just something that I've seen. It's experience, and that's about it. So what I want you to take away from this is that if you want to just be a server-side developer, there's nothing stopping you. There's actually more likelihood that you can be a pure server-side developer and just focus on that as opposed to being a pure front-end developer or something of that nature because there's like the the amount of server-side developers out there and the amount of demand the, the demand for server-side is it's massive there's quite a few systems that don't really require you to like or other jobs where you don't really require your server-side developers to have a full stack proficiency at all. There, some companies even specialize where they have just front-end developers and just back-end developers. Some companies have full-stack developers, etc., etc. But back-end developers are definitely by far one of the in, most in-demand positions that you can go for. When it comes to Node, however, it's a little bit of a special case, but there's nothing stopping you from being a pure server-side developer if you want to. Have a great day.